Introduction Hi friends, have you ever thought why do we eat food? Yes, of course, because they are delicious and are the source of energy. In this module, we are going to study about different food items that we eat. Objectives Dear friends, at the end of this lesson, you'll be able to list nutrients and detect carbohydrate, proteins, and fats in the food items. You will also be able to describe different vitamins with their roles and discuss the importance of minerals in the body. In addition to this, you will also be able to explain the importance of dietary fibers and water in the body, explain the importance of balanced diet and define deficiency diseases. Friends, we get excited when our mother cooks delicious food for us like dal, roti, sambar, idli, rice, etc. You might have noticed that after having food, we feel energetic and can perform various activities. Do you know the reason behind this? Food is actually a source of energy and bodybuilding material that we need to move on keep ourselves warm and to develop or sustain and improve our health. Thus, food acts like a fuel to our body and we cannot survive for long without it. Now a question may arise that how do we get energy by eating food and why food is known as fuel for our body? Friends, food has five basic components in it. These are carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins and minerals. All these components together are called as nutrients. A body digests food and absorbs these nutrients to provide energy. Some nutrients help us fight against diseases. Do you know this fact that each food item contains all nutrients in different amount and each nutrient plays a different role in the body. Let us know about these nutrients one by one in detail. First, carbohydrates. Carbohydrates form an essential structural component of living cells. They are the main source of energy for animals. Carbohydrates include sugars, starch, fiber, etc. They are mainly found in wheat, rice, potatoes, corn and maize. You might have noticed that some children who do not drink milk become weak and are underdeveloped because milk contains required proteins for our growth. Meat, fishes, eggs, pulses, cheese and soybean are some other important sources of proteins in our diet. The major role of proteins is building and repairing of damaged tissues. Along with carbohydrates, they are also a source of energy. I know that you all love pizza, burger, cheese, etc. But your parents do not allow you to eat them regularly because such foods contain large amounts of fat. Fat supply us with energy. If we don't use up this energy, our bodies build up a store for future use as in form of body fat. This is the reason why people eating much oily food become obese. Ghee, oil, butter, cheese and milk are some main sources of fats. Friends, when you get ill and go to the doctor, then he advises you to take some fruits with light food because many of our body processes require vitamins present in fruits and vegetables. They are required in very small amount. Here is a list of vitamins, their sources and their roles. You might have seen many advertisements of mineral-rich food items. 
Now let's know why they are so important. Actually, plants need minerals for growth. Besides this, a body also requires minerals in small quantities for all the chemical processes. Potassium, calcium, iron, etc. are some common examples of these minerals. Let us know more about the sources and the role of these minerals using the next table. Dear friends, do you know that besides nutrients, dietary fiber also play an important role in our body. They are usually known as roughage. You need to know that roughage does not provide any nutrition to our body, but adds bulk. They are found only in plants. Pulses, potato, fresh fruits and vegetables as the main sources of roughage. This helps our body to get rid of the undigested food. Now let us know about water, which is also an important constituent of our food. A body gets most of the water in the form of liquid. In addition, we also add water while cooking the food. Water helps a body to absorb nutrients from the food. It is also helpful in throwing out some wastes from body as urine and sweat. As we know that all kinds of foods do not contain all the components. Our meals should have a balance of the different nutrients that our body needs for growing and maintaining good health. Such a diet is called a balanced diet. In other words, we can say that a balanced diet includes all the nutrients that our body requires in proper quantities. So we should accept the fact that having a balanced diet is the best way to live a healthy life. Friends, after knowing about the balanced diet, we should also know that if we don't take proper diet, then what will be the problems? I hope that you might have heard about deficiency diseases. These are the diseases that occur due to lack of nutrients over a long period and hence called deficiency diseases. Here is a list of some of the deficiency diseases and their symptoms. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins and minerals are the major nutrients in our food. In addition, food also contains dietary fibers and water. Carbohydrates and fats mainly provide energy to our body. Proteins and minerals are required for the growth and the maintenance of our body. Vitamins help us Vitamins help us in protecting our body against diseases. Introduction Hi friends, have you ever thought why do we eat food? Yes, of course, because they are delicious and are the source of energy. In this module, we are going to study about different food items that we eat. Balanced diet provides all the nutrients that our body needs in right quantities along with adequate amount of roughage and water. Deficiency in one or more nutrients in our food for a long time may cause certain diseases or disorders. These are called deficiency diseases.